The opinions expressed on the X and Y show are the sole opinions of the host. Please note, there is no intentional desire to offend any member of the listening audience. With that said, if you still feel offended, <laughs> tough shit. It's time for the X and Y show. With your host, Mr. Roosevelt. He talks about man topics, lady topics, and relationships. He talks about love, sex, and infidelities. He even gives good tips. There is no other show that compares to the X and Y show. Oh yeah, sit back, take your clothes off, and relax. It's time for the X and Y show, where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. The only place on the planet that tackles the topics that everyone wants to talk about, but no one is brave enough to address. Nothing escapes X and Y, baby. Now, here's your host, Roosevelt Colbert. <sighs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, X and Y. How you doing? This is your host, Roosevelt, and welcome to another segment of the X and Y show. This is a special edition, uh, Christmas Eve edition. And I hope you guys are really enjoying yourselves and having a good time with your families. I know it's been a rough year, but we are going to get by it. We're going to get through this year, and um, hopefully 2021 is a lot better than this year was. So I just want to wrap to you for a quick second. Um, this is a special episode. I'm not I'm usually I talk about relationships and um, stuff that deals with marriages and uh, the family and stuff. I guess in essence, this is dealing with the family. Um, but I want to rap to you about, you know, remembering Christmas, you know, uh, the good times. Um, you know, I, I was thinking about it today and I said, I'm going to just talk about that, you know. And, um, you know, I just, you know, from all the, the, the shit that's going on in this world and people dying and people uh going crazy and um people sick and uh, the political wars with the sin and all that bullshit i just want you to forget about that for a little while i want you to come back with me to the time that you were a kid i want you to come back with me and remember the good days of christmas and i know for some of you you know when you're a little kid um, Christmas wasn't good, but you know, that's, that's, um, something you can change. You know, if you have kids now, you can make it good for them and live through their eyes. So Christmas is a, a special time that everyone could be happy, um, no matter what, but I want you to, uh, I just want you to go back with me, uh, and remember when you were little. You know, when you were a kid, you still getting presents, <laughs> you know, I mean, good shit, you know, you know, you weren't just getting a ugly ass tie or a gift card, a $10 gift card to Amazon, you know, bullshit. You was getting good shit, you know, when you was a kid and you, you woke up, you know, and the tree was there and uh, it don't matter if you grew up in the city or the country or apartment house whatever you know it still was good memories you know you grew up you know you had brothers and sisters you all couldn't sleep you all talking all night you know what you got on the, the tree and no i got this and i bet you santa bringing me that and you know and uh you finally fall to sleep you know after you done talked all night and trying to stay up to see santa claus <laughs> um and then you wake up in the morning, you know, as soon as the, the light come up, you know. And you're if you remember when you were a kid just running out to the tree. I mean, we had in my house, we had a terrazzo floor. For those of you who don't know what a terrazzo floor is, it's basically like um 
uh, like shiny marble, but um, it's a very good floor actually. Um, but they don't, you know, they don't build terrazzo floors anymore. They, you know, I just thought about that. They don't build terrazzo floors anymore. I don't have, I haven't seen them. You know, everybody got this damn tile. Um, but anyway, um, terrazzo floor. That, that's all it was. It was, it was a shiny marble. You put a nice coat of wax on it. It really looked nice. And um, I really believe that's why they stopped making terrazzo floors. <laughs> it was too good. Uh, it's much better than tile. Much better. But anyway. Um, so, you know, we had a terrazzo floor in my house. So I remember, you know, at that time, you know, in Miami, it, it actually used to get cold back in the day. And, you know, it, we would actually be cold. So, you know, you have to, my dad would always say, put on your slippers, boy, for you go out there by, by the tree, you know. So I had to put on my slippers or either socks, one of the two. Um, and, um, but I remember I had these Superman slippers. Like the back in the day, we had um, moccasins. They were like socks, but moccasin bottoms, and you could buy different designs. And I had uh, I had a pair of Superman, and I had a pair of uh, Captain Marvels, uh, the Shazam. I had a pair of those, and uh, but I always was Superman. He was my favorite back then. But um, so I had those, and I'm running out to the tree, and I went. You know, of course, you go to the tree, um, you know, and. There was just a little bit of gifts, you know, two or three or whatever for you, for your mom and dad. And then when you get up on Christmas morning, you know, of course, you have all your gifts. And, and you know, Santa came. He didn't forget about me, you know, even though I got, uh, you know, a few C's. <laughs> you know, Santa didn't forget about me, you know. So, you know, and um, I was just thinking about the time, you know, I, I see all these toys out in the tree and you know you know you don't know where to start you know you don't know what which ones you're going to open first you know and you you wondering if Santa brung or remembered to bring everything that you asked for you know and um it was just a happy time you know and um you know it, it, it was just opening up all those gifts made you feel good as a kid you know of course as a kid you wouldn't worry about bills you wouldn't worry about anything all you had to do is live and go to school and um so you know there was no worries you know it was just a happy time you know opening gifts oh i got this oh i got that oh wait i show my my friend john and and uh you know my friend ralph and Oh, I got these new, you know, back then we had different toys. We actually had toys, you know, these little bass, I shouldn't call them bass. The children of the day, <laughs> you know, um, all they want is electronic things. They want uh, uh, PS5 and uh, they want the new cartridges and stuff like that. But we actually had toys. You know, when I was coming up, um, we actually went outside and played, you know. Um, so it was different from these little bass, from these kids today who just want electronic stuff and just stay inside all day. Um, we were quite different. Um, I'm on this website and it has toys of the 70s. I'm just going through a few of them. The first one they have are those. Atari 2600, and man, let me tell you, I remember when I first got um, my Atari 2600, and the Atari 2600 uh, came with two joysticks, two paddles, and two games. You remember that? It came with uh, Space Invaders and Combat, and um, you know, it was, of course, we didn't have 3D graphics and all of that shit. That they have on the PS5. But the PS5 you don't get shit. You just buy the console. And I think they give you one joystick. Correct me if I'm wrong. Because I don't have one. I don't. I don't uh, you know. I don't, I don't have any kids. So I'm not paying no damn $500 for that shit. Um, 
But I think they they give you one joystick, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong. But uh, you have to buy the other joystick if you want it. And the, the cost the games cost damn near as much as a damn car. Um, You know, we had two joysticks, two paddles, and they give you two games for the TAR 2600. You just put the, the, the transformer thing on the back from the switch from TV <laughs> to game, you know. And let me tell you, that Atari 2600 was, oh, my goodness, it was a game saver. Um, sometimes you just didn't feel like going outside, you know. And you had that Atari 2600 to play with. And it was easy games, you know. And you just played with them for a little while. You knew how to play the game. Not these damn games today is a damn 5,000-page uh, book to learn how to play it. You want to learn how to kick, you got to push up, press down twice, push the red button once, and all this shit. You know, back then in the Tar 2600, just push the red button. That was the action button. You want to fire, you want to kick up, uh, press up, press the joystick up, and press the red button. You want to kick down, press the joystick down, press the red button. Simple. But it was a lot of fun. Um... I definitely had an Atari 2600. I later on got the first computer, um, Commodore 64. If you guys remember that, uh, that was definitely back in the day. Uh, that was my first computer. That was a little later, though, um, when I got a little older. But when I was younger, Atari 2600 definitely was um, in my household. Um, another toy, Pet Rock. I never had one of those. And if you had one of the one of those, you are a weird motherfucker. <laughs> I, you know, I'm looking at this. It comes in a box and like Easter egg grass and you have a pet rock. What the? I remember people talking about that, but I never. Uh, anyway, that was one of the toys back in the 70s. So if you had a pet rock, uh, you know, <laughs> okay. Rubik's Cube. Oh, yeah. I definitely had one of those. Um, I had uh, the Rubik's Cube. I had the one shaped like a triangle. I forget what it's called. I think it's called the the fair Paramix. I think it was called a Paramix. It's basically like the Rubik's Cube, but it's a triangle shape. And I didn't know how to do any of them. <laughs> Once I messed them up, you know, I never could get them back to the color that was solid. So, uh, you know, I would wouldn't have those Rubik cubes too long. I throw them damn things, but I did have one. It was it was fun. Uh, skateboards. Oh my goodness, I, I had a skateboard, but I never could skate on it well. Um, I prefer skates. And if going back in the day, if you remember the skates with the iron wheels. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. I had a pair of those. Uh, but those damn skates were good. It was They were fun. Everybody in the neighborhood had them. That was before the the other w- w- the wheels. Well, the other wheels were out, but they cost more money. Um, so I didn't get a pair of those till you know, I was damn near a teenager. But um, the... Uh, the, the skates with the iron wheels and you, when you skate, it sounds like, you know, <laughs> like rolling steel and shit, but they're fun. I oh, mean, they're fun. Let's bring back some memories there. Wow. Skates, you know, these kids don't skate anymore. You know, they you say, if you want to go skating, they look at you like, uh, you know, where's the video game? <laughs> That's the video game of skating. <laughs> you know, they ain't going outside and skating. Uh, so it's just a different generation. Uh, Weeble Wobbles. I never had any of those, um, but I did have friends that played with Weeble Wobbles. Um, Six Million Dollar Man action figures. Oh, yeah. Definitely had one of those. Everybody had the Six Million Dollar Man. Evil Knievel. You remember the Evil Knievel car with you, uh, with the motorcycle, where you put it on the, uh, the crank and and you wind it up, and then you let it go, and then the motorcycle goes, you know, probably about 10 or 15 feet. It's amazing how we were amused back as kids, you know, that, you know, I'm looking at some of this shit that we had back then, and it wasn't 
that technical. It wasn't that complicated. It was just something to do, but we were happy, you know, and, um, yeah, that was, that was a good time. You know, of course you would have about maybe one or two days with that crank before it was stripped. And then, uh, then you had to push evil can with your hand. <laughs> so, that didn't last too long. None of those damn toys last uh, too long. You know, the, the slinky, the commercial always coming down the stairs. That shit didn't come down the stairs. At least for me, I, I never had a slinky that would walk down the stairs. Uh, so if somebody had a slinky that would actually walk down the stairs, email me. <laughs> I want to know who actually had that. You remember back in the kid, as a kid, you know, you seen all these commercials like the, the car tracks and the race tracks and stuff, and they did all these things. And then when you got the, the actual toy, you know, I was like, damn, it was, they did that on TV. <laughs> what the, why it won't do it for me? Uh, you know, so, um, but we still have fun. It was a lot of fun. Um... What's the next toy here? Boggle. What the hell is that? Uh, definitely didn't have that. So if you have Boggle, good for you. Um, <clears throat> looks like something similar to Scrabble. I don't know. but uh, That was one of the toys. Uh, Connect 4. Oh, my goodness. That's bringing back some memories there. Definitely had a Connect 4. Hungry Hungry Hippos. Oh, yeah. Had one of those. Um, nerf balls. Everybody had a nerf ball. Baseball, football, something. Um, so if you didn't have a nerf ball, then you were really fucked up. Everybody had a nerf ball. Um I didn't like them too much though, because they wouldn't last, you know. If you left them outside, they would get rained on and get wet. Um, you know, after a while the dog would get a whole you know, it, it just they wouldn't just deteriorate after a while so that's why i didn't like nerf balls too much rock em, sock em robots oh my goodness I, I had about two or three of those because uh that was a damn fun game there oh my goodness i spent hours with my brother and friends playing that game rock em, sock em robots baby alive doll i didn't have one of those of course because i'm not a girl but I did have girlfriends. I mean, you know, friends. You know, I didn't have girlfriends back. You know what I mean. But um, I knew girls who had uh, dolls and stuff. You know, I almost got in trouble one year um, at Christmas around that time because I was over my girl that I knew, and I she had all these Barbie dolls, and I and I took all the clothes off. You know, <laughs> I was. I took all the clothes off, and, you know, and uh, she told my mom, you know, and my mom was, uh, you know, she she wanted me to get a spanking, and uh, she told my dad, and my dad was like, you must be crazy, you think I'm spanking him for that, <laughs> you know, that's what he's supposed to do, he didn't say that, but I, I you know, now I look back, and I know what he meant, you know, he's supposed to take the, the, the doll clothes off, that's what you want him to do. <laughs> At a young age, I was fantasizing already. <laughs> Took all the clothes off. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The next game, Battleship. Oh, yeah. Who didn't have a Battleship? Oh, yes. Spent a lot of hours on that game. Um, Magna Doodle. I remember some friends with those. I never had one of those. But um, it looks like some like a... Um, uh, that that uh, the, the, I can't remember the name of that toy, but the it was like a red square with two white knobs on it. I can't remember the name of it, but it looked like something like that. But um, I never had a Magna Doodle. Simon says, "Oh my goodness, yeah, yeah." I could never get past like the fourth or fifth round um, of the Simon Says, and it. That game really used to piss me off when I would throw that shit across the room. But, um, <laughs> you know, and then, it, and then you know, that one used to really mess me up. And then my, my parents got me a Super Simon. And I was like, you know, shit. I didn't like the original. The original used to piss me off. And they got me a Super Simon. You know, the one, the regular Simon had four colors. The Super Simon had eight. 
So, you know, it was, so, you know, I threw that across the room as well. But I did have what Simon said. <laughs> Star Wars figurines. Oh, yeah. I had the, um, yeah, I had a lot of them. I had the Millennium Falcon. You know, I just, if I could have kept some of that shit that I had, I had a lot of stuff. I had the Millennium Falcon. I had uh, Darth Vader, the Stormtroopers, Yoda, and Luke, and Han So. I had so many, you know, I don't know what happened to all that shit. If I would have kept some of that shit today, damn. But anyway, did have some Star Wars toys. Starskin Hutch cars, never had that. Um, Easy Bake Oven, I'm sure a lot of you girls out there remember that. Um, I remember eating some from uh, a few of the girls that I knew. They baked cookies and stuff. You know, that shit wasn't bad either. <laughs> <laughs> they used to bake cookies and uh and, and uh I, I think I, I guess uh yeah cookies are probably the only thing you could bake and that those things would actually work and um they would bake whatever that was they gave it to you bread or I don't know what that shit was but it's pretty good <laughs> I remember that uh easy bake oven oh my goodness I remember seeing one of those my a lot of girlfriends light bright. I never had one of those, but I had friends who had them. And I used to go to their house to play with it. And a very fun toy. Very fun toy. Um, Shrinky Dinks. Never had one of those. Uh, Spirograph. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, Stretch Armstrong. Oh, my goodness. I had, I had one of those. I had a couple of those. And um, I used to always be curious what was in this this thing that made it stretch like that? So I was always sticking it with a pen, and uh, my mom caught me. What What are you doing? <laughs> Don't do that! You know, I used to stick it with a pen. I wanted to see what was inside of them. You know, and uh, you know, I was curious. I wanted to see what was inside of this motherfucker. You know, but um, Stretch Armstrong. Yeah, I had about two or three of them. <laughs> Oh, boy. And I can go all night, you know, with toys and that we had from the 70s. But my idea was I just wanted to say that because, you know, it was so much happiness as a kid during Christmas time, you know, with the family. You know, and back then it was a a better world, you know. Um, I'm not saying it was a utopia. I'm not saying that. But it was just a much better time. You know, um, it wasn't as evil, it wasn't as crazy. And, you know, being together with family, you know, at that time as a kid, you know, you didn't know any better. You just, you know, you playing with your toys and stuff like that. But you didn't know at the time, those were times that you would always cherish. At least I did. I do now, you know, older and I look back at those times and I, I, a lot of times I wish I can go back, you know, and just stay there for a minute and relish in those good times. Not just because of the presence, but, you know, for a better time, a, a better world, you know, um, you know, your friends, you know, and a lot of people that that's not around anymore, you know, uh, will still be there. You know, like my dad, he's, he's gone on now. Um, you know, if I can just go back to that time where you're an innocent kid and much happier growing up and waking up on Christmas morning, you know, your mom was there, your father was there, your brothers and sisters, uh, your dog, you know, I had a dog. Uh, his name was Joe Bull. Uh, his, he's a, very good dog. Very good dog. I miss that dog. He's like a brother to me. But, um, you know, those are good times, you know. And uh, I, as a kid, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, was uh, as an adult, I'm thinking as a kid. But, you know, I was kind of angry at myself. But, you know, I didn't know any better as a kid, you know, that these were actually times that I would remember for the rest of my life. You know, these were times that were very important. You know, these were times that you can never get back. You know, all you I mean, you can remember them and cherish them in your heart and your mind, but you can never get back. You can't go back in time. 
So I say this to say this, you know, now, you know, Christmas is tomorrow and a lot of you, um, you know, are not doing that well. You know, a lot of you know friends or family who are not doing that well right now because of the COVID and um, some of you uh, know friends who have gotten sick and it's just not a good time not a happy time as it once was or as it should be around this time. So you have to remember, you know, you have to do what you can do to make it a better time for them. And you have to reiterate to them that it will get better. You know, I know they've heard this too many times, you know, people just, it'll get better. It can't stay bad if forever. But you have to keep reiterating to that to them and to get better. And then you'll look back one day and remember these bad times and then it'll make you stronger. And they make you appreciate the good times when they come back. You know, Christmas is not only about gifts. It's about being together and being happy and being one family and being um, amongst people who love you. And, you know, it's, it's, it's just supposed to be at least one day out of the year where you're supposed to be happy, you know, one day out of the year. So, you know, if you, you find yourself having difficulties not being happy, you know, think about when you were a kid, you know, think about when you were waking up and uh, where are you from? You know, New York, Kansas, France. I have listeners in France and Europe or whatever. Think about when you were a kid and getting up on that that Christmas morning and seeing all those toys and all that uh, Christmas cookies and uh, your brothers and sisters and you, you fighting over who bike it is. And <laughs> Remember those good times. And I guarantee that a smile will come on your face. Now, if you didn't have good times as a kid, I'm sorry. But that is an opportunity for you to change through your eyes, you know, your your kids' eyes, and make it a good Christmas for them. If you don't have kids, then it's never too late to make it happy for yourself. Do something that makes you happy, you know. If you didn't have a happy childhood, you know, spend time with family. You know, if you don't have family, spend time with friends. If you don't have friends, spend time with church goers, you you know, your fellow church members. Spend time with someone that loves you and that makes you happy. But that's what it's all about. The holidays is about being happy. It's not about gifts. It's about being happy with you, your family, and making others feel good about themselves. That's what this holiday is about. And of course, Christmas is about the uh, birth of Jesus Christ, if you're a Christian. And that's what he would want, you know, spread happiness. Joy to the world. That's what it's all about. So make sure that the next time you feel kind of down and you don't like what's going on in the world and it doesn't really feel like Christmas, think about the time where you were a kid, where you were innocent and you were happy. So that's all I want to say. And um, I just wanted to take you back to a little memory lane with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. (laughs) Hey, what can I do? But um, I'm sure some of you did. So that's, you know, that's all I can do. Hopefully that some of you, uh, it helps some of you uh, become a little bit more happier. Um, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And I will definitely see you. The next time, I'm not sure if I'll be back next week, but um, 
Have a Merry Christmas. If I don't be back next week, have a Happy New Year. And I will see you in 2021. Take care. And I want you always to remember, you cannot have love without X and Y. Later. X and Y, X and Y, X and Y all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Merry Christmas from the X and Y Show.